and welcome. This is Ace with John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a slightly changed array example that we have been working on for the last couple of tutorials. And if you'll notice in our last tutorial, the drop down menu was way up here in the corner, and now it's in the center. So, what I want to do is I'm going to take this already altered app. And I'm going to put a label on this and I'm going to put it here to the right with the words press me and a little just a little wordage I'm just basically going to add a text view and I'm going to show you how to uh, locate it next to this because this is a relative layout and that that makes a huge difference in how you do things so let's get started First thing you want to realize is I've already done this a couple of notes and laid out and basically we're going to follow along and do exactly what we did with the spinner, but we're going to use a text view as an example and do the same thing. So first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to add a text view. Text view. And we're going to call it new text equals new text view and this. Then we're going to come down here and we look at this. This is the new relative layout. Basically, this is a, uh, it's like putting things into small boxes. You actually have to have these boxes with things in them in order to uh, place them correctly on your screen. And so what I did was I created a relative layout with these parameters and then I placed basically placed the uh, spinner in that and then placed that uh, and that's that's how you have to do it so we're gonna add a new one uh, we're gonna just basically gonna copy and paste this one and instead of calling it layout params and spanner param we're gonna call it well, we're just going to leave this all the change. We're just going to change this to text view text view param. We'll leave everything else the same because we want the wrap content and we want the wrap content. This is uh, vertical and horizontal, so it takes two parameters. Uh, and so that's why there's two of those in there because one's lengthwise and one height and they both have to be in there or you won't you'll be missing a part all right then you add the rules spanner param dot add rule rather the center and then central but we're, these are going to be a little bit different because we're going to add our rules are going to put it just to the right of the spinner so i'm going to start by copying and pasting and then we're going to go back up here and get this. And then we're going to have to modify this to fit our relative layout. And in order to do that, we're going to actually going to have to use an ID. So, and I also forgot to get the text view any text. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to add the actual text. Text. And then we will assign IDs so we'll just go to new text and we will set the text set text and we will say more thingy push me and there we go that's got the text assigned to the text view we assign the IDs the IDs is super simple. Simple. You just get your uh, whatever you want to give an ID to and assign them IDs. You want to assign that to that and to this. Uh, well, it's doing that because I haven't give, done anything with it. So it's just set ID and we're going to call this one one. set ID I call this one 
2. Okay, now that we've got this done, the text added and the IDs added, set, we're going to come down here and we're going to change this so that it doesn't center it exactly like it does uh, the spinner. We want it to be to the right. So the way we do that is relative layout dot right of get rid of that comma and we want it to be right of the new spinner and we want to get uh, get ID get ID and close it and there's that now I also want to show you how to do margins uh, they're like a little buffer zone between the edge of things uh, so what we'll do here is we'll set the margins uh, it's basically copy and paste relative layout set margins except instead of add rule it's set margins so set margins and then notice here it says left top right and then bottom uh, four parameters and we want to uh, edge on the left side so what we want to do is we just put uh, 10 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 and that will set up a margin on our left side of 10 giving it a little bit of a bump away from our spinner we have to add it uh, add spinner to the layout we have to add our uh, our text view to the layout and we look here we're going to do exactly the same thing we're going to put in the relative layout we're going to add view it's a new spinner it's going to be the text view new text and then instead of the spanner param of course it's going to be text view param copy and paste and then we run and that looks pretty good although this is a little hard to read so let's go back in here and see if we can change the text color a little bit let's go in here and uh, text color um, let me see new text uh, set text color and we want to do color dot yellow maybe that'll be more readable and then we'll run it again and there you go much more readable Drop, drop down menu got it centered you got to push me to the right and if we'll go back in here and want to see the difference let's put a uh, 40 in here and then run it just to see what the uh, difference is you know, the space is a little bit deeper uh, it's not much but you can definitely tell that there's a difference uh, so you've got a lot of a lot of uh, a room to play with uh, with those buffer numbers anyway this is Aceless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, playing around with the Java and doing the different formatting and uh, moving things around, making it look neater in Java rather than XML. Uh, it, to me, that's that's quite fun. I enjoy it. <laughs> enjoy it. Uh, you may be wondering why someone would ever do anything out of XML, but I assure you that at uh, some point in your programming career that uh, this kind of information will be valuable to you. So. I'm glad you came, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something. This has been Aces John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and the thumbs up, and I'll see you around.